Hello viewers, hope you are all well. Before I begin, I would advise all my viewers to check links of valuable resources related to CSCP exam in the description box of my video. Let's start with question number one. Inventories are often kept to improve customer service. To accomplish this objective, consumer products companies keep the majority of their inventory in A. Raw materials B. Work in process C. Finished goods D. Maintenance parts inventory The correct answer is C. Finished goods inventories are maintained in those industries where response to the customer's demands needs to be immediate. For these industries, product must be shipped from stock as soon as the order is received from the customer. Question number 2. While sourcing goods in foreign countries may be a cost-effective way to obtain goods rather than sourcing them domestically, it is important that all the costs are included. Besides material costs, there are ocean, trans ocean transport costs, freight forwarder fees, import fees, custom fees, duties, land transportation, etc. The total of all these costs accumulated in order for the goods to arrive in your facility is known as a logistics costs b distributed costs c landed costs d material costs the correct answer is c landed costs are all the costs incurred to get the goods into your facility for further processing or redistribution many companies decide to outsource to a foreign country for foreign country only based on the comparable material costs only to find that, that the landed costs are more than the original cost was. Additionally, their lead time is now longer and they must keep more inventory to protect against supply disruptions. Question number three. The rough cut capacity plan uses information from A. Master production schedule B. Material requirements planning C. Production plan D. Production activity control The correct answer is A. The rough cut capacity plan uses the information from the MPS to test the critical work centers to be sure the schedule is doable. If the MPS is able to, do, uh, to be done at the critical work centers, then the schedule can be executed. Question number four. There have been two major shifts in focus over the past several years. One is the heightened focus on the customer. The other is enhanced. A. Integration B. Workflow C. Business Process Focus D. Material Flow The correct answer is A. Organizations have become more integrated both internally and externally. Tools now exist to be able to work across functions to improve business process. Also, this improved integration now reaches to the external supply chain so suppliers can be as integrated as the internal functions. Question number 5. When exporting goods, there are standard set of numbers used to identify the products being shipped. These numbers are used for assigning tariffs or duties. These numbers are known as A. Export codes B. Harmonized numbers C. Export numbers D. Harmonized codes The correct answer is D. Harmonized codes are used by exporters to help facilitate the import of goods into foreign countries. They are maintained by the World Customs Organization. Question number six. The customer relationship management process is concerned with A. Lead time and delivery B. CRM system module C. Transaction processing D. Sustained customer relationships The correct answer is D. Customer relationship management is about building sustained relationships with customers. Long-term customers are more profitable and require less ongoing integration to be sustained. Capturing new customers is expensive and time-consuming. For that reason, any company's focus needs to be in building lasting relationships. Question number 7. Which of the following is not a trait of a customer-focused business? A. Provide functionally focused assistance. B. Able to conduct business easily. C. Add value to the product and business processes. D. Customer service is designed for the customer. The correct answer is A. Customer focused businesses provide cross functional support for every pro problem that develops. Because the customer is the most important aspect of the business, problems need to be resolved quickly and a cross functional process will work best. Question number 8. 
Which trip would be more expensive to an operator? A highway trip between two cities that is 1000 miles or a multi-stop intracity trip of 1000 miles? A. Highway trip B. City trip C. Neither trip D. Depends what is charged The correct answer is B. The starting and stopping of the truck in the city is more expensive in fuel, labor, wear on the truck, etc. Question number 9. As the amount of safety stock increases, the level of customer service A. Should increase B. Should decrease C. Should stay, at the, stay the same D. Depends on customer service department The correct answer is A. Safety stock levels have an impact on service levels to a point. More safety stock will enhance customer service, but there will come a point where the in increase in inventory will not justify the increase in customer service. It takes twice as much inventory to reach 99.99% in stock probability as 95% requires. Question number 10. Which of the following is not an input to MRP? A. MPS B. Bill of Materials C. Planning Factors D. Forecast the correct answer is D. The forecast would be an input to the MPS and not MRP. Question number 11. The document or screen that lists the steps each part must go through during manufacture is known as the A. Step description B. Operating, operation sequence C. Work center D. Router the correct answer is D. The router or routing file lists the steps of manufacture for each manufactured part. Generally, the router includes the work center, the operation sequence in the work center and the standard amount of time at the each sequence step. Question number 12. A real benefit of using rail over trucking is A. Time criticality B. Better security C. Lower cost D. Ease of loading unloading the correct answer is C. The primary reason for using rail for durable loads is that rail costs about one-tenth the cost per ton mile of trucking. As a result, rail is favored for low-cost heavy loads. Question number 13. What is the primary reason for outsourcing logistics functions? A. Improve business focus. B. Relieve the administrative function. C. Eliminate layers of management. D. Reduce stockouts. The correct answer is A. Outsourcing of any business function should be done to improve business focus. For more, for most companies, logistics is not a not a com core competence, and significant time and comp capital is necessary to properly run a logistics operation. Outsourcing any function should improve the function for the company. Question number fourteen: Carriers such as UPS and FedEx are considered a specialty carriers. B. Truck load carriers C. Package carriers D. Less than truck load carriers The correct answer is A. UPS and FedEx would be considered specialty carriers. Question number 15. In code terms clarify A. Payment terms between the importer and exporter B. Freight terms and rates between the importer and exporter C. Responsibilities of the importer and exporter in commercial transactions D. Method of payment between the importer and exporter the correct answer is C. Inco terms were set up by the International Chamber of Commerce to define the responsibilities of the importer and exporter in commercial transactions. The Inco terms are not legally binding. However, importers and exporters accept them as standard terms for transactions. Viewers, if you find value in this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell icon. Thank you.